It's fun telling people you go to McDonald's. They always give you that look like, oh, I didn't know I was better than you. McDonald's has been around in some form since the 1940s, and this famous fast food chain has served billions. Along the way, some crazy McDonald's myths have surfaced, and these myths definitely need to be debunked. We're here to expose the truth about these wild and wacky myths, many of which have become urban legends. Here are the top 10 craziest McDonald's myths. You want to get some McDonald's? McRib sandwiches contain pink slime. Lois, it's back! No one wants to head to a fast food joint because they're craving pink slime. This is why McDonald's execs want you to know that the popular McRib sandwich does not include notorious and disgusting pink slime. This myth has been around for a long time, but it's just a tall tale. McDonald's upper management has said that questions about the ingredients in the McRib are always coming in. People are incredibly curious about this sandwich and how it's made. A scientist studied the McRib and found that its patty is made with water, pork, and salt, plus a kind of sugar known as dextrose, and some preservatives which keep the flavor intact. McRib patties are molded into their signature shape through a flash freezing process, so the patty is never crafted from off-putting pink slime. He slimed me. It's made from ground pork. McNuggets aren't made from pink slime either. That's another myth that we can debunk right now. As you can see, there's no real reason to hate on the iconic McRib sandwich. It's not made of some crazy mystery meat after all. To prepare the McRib, Mickey D's team members cook the pork patties in panini presses. Then they give them a liberal coating of barbecue sauce and present them on soft, fluffy buns. While it's true that the buns contain a chemical that's also used to produce yoga mats, this chemical is deemed food safe. Plus, McDonald's higher-ups report that the chemical compound used in McRib buns, which is called azodicarbinamide, is a different variant of the chemical used to make yoga mats. You can walk through the drive throughs No and then! And then. No and then. and then! No and then! If you're out and about on foot and you want to mosey through a McDonald's drive through you are out of luck. There is a myth that it's okay to do this, but it's just a myth. In real life, customers aren't allowed to do it because it's a safety hazard. If a customer walking through a drive through gets hit by a car, that's a worst case scenario. And McDonald's won't let people walk through drive throughs to eliminate the risk of accidents between drivers and pedestrians. You scratched my car! Of course, a person on foot just needs to walk into McDonald's and order at the counter. The drive through is for drivers only. While walking through the drive through might sound like a fun idea, it's not really necessary, is it? People don't even need to go to McDonald's anymore to get the fast food that they crave, thanks to delivery services that bring burgers, fries, and other Mickey D's fare straight to their homes, or wherever they happen to be when they get the munchies. It's a new era of fast food, but the drive through will always be popular with people who get hungry while they're on the road. Ray Kroc founded the fast food chain. A fresh, delicious burger from grill to counter in 30 seconds. Ray Kroc is commonly believed to be the founder of McDonald's, but he took over later on, rather than getting the ball rolling. The guys who did get the ball rolling were Dick and Mac McDonald. Dick was short for Richard, and Mac was short for Maurice. These two bros basically invented fast food by creating the Mickey D's franchise and putting together a speedy service system that made it easy for customers to get delicious food quickly. Both brothers are sadly no longer with us. They started out in the food biz by opening opening a hot dog stand in California. The stand was popular with young men because the men enjoyed chatting with the cute lady car hops who delivered their orders. However, the brothers were canny enough to realize that speeding up service was the way of the future. You thinking what I'm thinking? They made plans for a new franchise that didn't rely on car hop service. In 1948, they opened the first of the no car hops restaurants. People drove up to the restaurant and placed their orders inside. Food was delivered right at the counters. The restaurant served milkshakes, burgers, and fries, and it was a great success. It was called McDonald's, and the rest is history, with a lot of help later on from Ray Kroc. McDonald's food doesn't go bad. 
That look like spit to you? Some people honestly believe that McDonald's menu items, such as Big Macs, will never spoil. Let us put your mind at ease by telling you that this simply isn't true. The rumor started when people shared pics of McDonald's burgers that were months or supposedly years old with no apparent signs of spoilage. To debunk the myth, a food scientist explained that McDonald's burgers are just like other foods. If the foods don't come in contact with air or moisture that allows microbes to flourish, the burgers will look much the same as they did when they were purchased for a long time after. Burger. Big and juicy. If they are exposed to air and moisture that promote food spoilage, they'll rot like any other foods. So don't eat old burgers that look fine. It just isn't safe. There may be food spoilage going on under the surface, which you can't see with your naked eye. Stick to fresh fast food. If you must consume McDonald's leftovers, be sure that they are stored correctly in a fridge and eat them soon after you buy them, such as a day or two afterward. In other words, don't treat uneaten McDonald's food any different than other food. Follow the same rules when it comes to freshness. The well-preserved burgers shown off online, which didn't rot, allegedly after months or years, may have been tightly wrapped and then frozen. None of us know how they were stored or if they were really as old as described. 100% beef is just a name. Just like my dad used to make until McDonald's fired him. On our quest to find the top 10 craziest McDonald's myths, we come to one of the most famous myths to circulate over the years. A lot of people will have seen on the internet that McDonald's doesn't use 100% beef in their burger patties. In fact, those people think that McDonald's doesn't use real beef at all, and they use various other animals and animal parts to create their burgers. Needs more dog. Obviously, if they did do this, then how can they get away with it, especially when it comes to advertising. Many people think that the answer is a clever bit of wordplay, and McDonald's uses a company called 100% Beef so they can say on their commercials that their product is 100% beef. Clever, right? Well, it would be if it were true. McDonald's has never used a meat company called 100% Beef or the All Beef Company, which was another rumored name. The fact is that McDonald's meat is very well inspected by governing bodies, and not only that, McDonald's themselves have to print the ingredients of their patties by law. On their website, it clearly states their patties are made with 100% USDA inspected beef. There is no clever wordplay here, just the simple and straightforward facts. The French fries are vegan friendly. Vegan police! Delicious McDonald's french fries aren't the right choice for vegans. Although many people believe that these salty, golden brown treats are made without any animal products. The truth is that the fries are made with natural beef flavor, which is derived from beef products. This means the fries aren't exactly ideal for vegetarians either. In 1990 and beforehand, McDonald's actually made its fries by frying them in beef tallow. Today, vegetable oil is used used instead, but there's still the issue of seasoning, which does contain animal products. The current oils used to make the fries are corn, canola, and soybean. No vegan diet, no vegan powers! A blend of the oils is the secret recipe for great McDonald's french fries. The seasoning is another part of the secret. The oil was changed from beef tallow to a blend of vegetable oils for health reasons, but Mickey D's needed to mimic the taste of the initial beef tallow recipe, because that recipe got rave reviews. Views. So it added seasoning made from natural beef ingredients. This is why the fries aren't good choices for vegetarians and vegans. Luckily, a lot of fast food joints do offer vegetarian-friendly and vegan-friendly items. And it seems Canadian McDonald's do offer a true vegan-friendly french fry. The milkshakes contain pig fat. I'd love a shamrock shake if I got any of those. It's September, Jonathan! When you enjoy a creamy, thick McDonald's milkshake, such as a limited-time-only shamrock shake, do you assume that you're ingesting pig fat as well as other ingredients? Some people do, but they're wrong. A lot of people who believe this myth actually avoid the milkshakes because they're understandably grossed out by the pig fat thing. But they don't have to miss out because McDonald's milkshakes do not really contain pig's fat. 
This rumor really got around. It got so much traction that McDonald's in Australia went so far as to debunk the myth right in the nutritional information section of its website. Basically, McDonald's provides full and complete nutritional information for everything on its menu, and we aren't just talking about McDonald's Australia. That'll do, pig. We mean all McDonald's everywhere on the planet. So it's not hard to find full lists of ingredients. And you'll never see pig's fat listed as a milkshake ingredient because there is zero pig's fat in these creamy and sweet drinks. If you don't believe us, look for yourself. The truth is out there and doesn't take very long to find. People love to start negative and salacious rumors about restaurants. They are juicy, but most of these rumors just don't stand up to proper fact checking. Mickey D's doesn't use genuine eggs. I said over easy! Some people believe that McDonald's doesn't use genuine eggs in its breakfast menu items, but they are under the wrong impression. There are genuine eggs in Egg McMuffins and other similar breakfast items, such as sausage McMuffins with egg. This famous McDonald's food myth probably cropped up because Mickey D's uses a liquid mixture to make its scrambled eggs. The mixture definitely contains real eggs. Fast food restaurants like McDonald's have to serve a ton of menu items in no time flat. I blame the chicken. This means that the restaurants put a lot of thought into how to facilitate quick food preparation. The liquid mixture used to make the scrambled eggs speeds up food prep. It's a practical way to get those eggs made each day. With other egg dishes, such as the Egg McMuffin, the eggs are cracked on site and cooked. So McDonald's does use real eggs in dishes promoted as containing eggs. McDonald's isn't exactly secretive about what it puts in its menu items these days. There is full transparency. If real eggs were used, McDonald's would let the public know. But this just isn't the case. McDonald's food is healthier nowadays. God, Mac, you got a lot of beef. There are healthy items available at McDonald's, but the reality is that most people who come to the fast food chain's locations don't want the healthier items. They want burgers, fries, McNuggets, McFlurries, and so on. People tend to come to fast food joints for classic fast food, and some fast food from McDonald's and similar restaurants restaurants isn't always the healthiest choice. Depending on what you order, it's possible to take in a lot of calories. A burger might contain several hundred calories, or less, depending on which burger is ordered and which toppings are added. So don't assume that the grub served at McDonald's is better for you than it would have been in the old days. There's still lots of sugar, salt, calories, and fat in fast food, including food from Mickey D's. I wanna eat! It's best to enjoy fare from McDonald's and other fast food joints in moderation, rather than eating a lot of it all the time. When fast food is an occasional indulgence, you're enjoying it the smart way. Fast food at Mickey D's is quite affordable and convenient to access. It's easy to go too far with McDonald's food or any other fast food, from Taco Bell to KFC to Burger King and beyond. People need to be mindful about what they are putting in their bodies, in terms of calories, fat grams, sodium, sugar, and nutrients. Information about fast food ingredients and calorie counts is readily available at most official fast food websites, including McDonald's. The fast food chain gave cash to terrorists. Death to America! Did McDonald's fund terrorists? No, of course not. Some rumors about fast food chains are very damaging and cruel, and this is one of them. But this myth has been debunked. How did this crazy myth become so prevalent? Well, in the latter part of the 80s in the UK, a rumor about McDonald's secretly giving money to the provisional Irish Republican Army sprouted up. The funds were supposedly delivered through the Irish Northern Aid Committee, or NORAID for short. This information apparently was leaked by a source who misunderstood something important after watching a CNN talk show. Basically, McDonald's helps employees by funding their IRA accounts. Cup of tea for the big fella. Not by funding the IRA group, which is the Irish Republican Army. There's obviously a huge difference between IRA accounts and the IRA group. IRA accounts are individual retirement accounts. So McDonald's got undeserved bad press once again. Sure, McDonald's has probably deserved some of the shade it's gotten since it opened for business, but it never funded terrorism. And as you can see, this is just one of many misconceptions about the fast food chain and how it operates.
Help yourself to more great videos and tap that screen. Checking us out for the first time? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.